Today we have uh, Rehab Nexus on the line. Why don't you um, give us a little bit of background on yourself and who you are and what you do at Rehab Nexus. Uh, John, um, thank you for having us on the show. And uh, my name is Cece Rivera, and I'm a lead therapist for Rehab Nexus. I have approximately 15 years of experience providing mental health, addictions, art, spiritual-related counseling services, and a variety of outpatient, inpatient, and residential settings. As a mental health counselor, I hold a Florida State License for Addiction Counseling. What is the process at Rehab Nexus that's worked for you? I mean, as far as, you know, working with clients and all that. Well, some of the services that we provide, nutritional counseling, uh, art therapy, meditation, yoga groups, individual sessions. Our model is a evidence-based therapeutic model. We provide a a cutting-edge focus on breaking free from addictive behavioral patterns. We do individual sessions and group sessions. What and and how do you uh you know, how do you personally approach the counseling end of this? My approach to counseling is uh based on empathetic, logical and it's person centered perspective and it's a non judgmental perspective. My approach mm-hmm. incorporates my patient's focus and level of motivation for personal growth and a need to make change. My Style and principles are very active and solution-focused, and I work extensively with my patients to make changes of letting go, having them pretty much take responsibility for their own choices and their own actions. Well, what types of groups do you run? I mean, are, is it, uh, you know, what, what is gender-specific? What, what kind of groups uh, do you uh, run there at Rehab Nexus? Well, it's not uh, gender specific. We do have male and female. A lot of uh, the groups based on depression, anxiety, the behavioral patterns, uh, addictive behavioral patterns, co-occurring mental health, bipolar disorder, relationship issues. And we also uh, work with aspects of smart recovery, some focus on hypnotherapy and art therapy. And what um, you know at this at this point when you start to deal with the different modalities and helping people, do you find that um, clients are more attentive on getting uh, a reality based? Because that sounds like what you're doing, or more of a reality based structure. Yes, it is. And uh, well, I think that. If if the person is focused on making changes, then they will definitely focus on the strategies of actually making those changes, and that's what we focus on at Rehab Nexus so that they can develop healthy coping skills and strategies and, and improve mindfully. And that that same approach. I mean, it's it sounds like that's what you've been geared towards as far as you you know yourself bringing it back to that a little bit you know, approaching counseling and what you've been doing successfully over the last 15 years? Yes. Basically, I've done a lot of hypnotherapy and motivational hypnosis, and I I do focus more on the positive aspects of things, and that's exactly Mm -hmm. what we do at Rehab Nexus. We don't want the patient to focus on the negative aspects of things, you know, such as bringing them down and then bringing them back up. It, It doesn't, I don't think it's, it works productively, so we stay focused on the positive, even though we touch bases on the issues that they've had in the past and all the things that led them up to where they're at. But the the mm-hmm. idea and the goal at Rehab Nexus and even myself as an individual, um, as, as a therapist for Rehab Nexus and before in my experience, I, I do focus more on the positive approach and I think that it's it's a better perspective for them to make changes. That's that's really cool, and it, it actually that brought me to where I was going to go next. And you know, what is really the the overall goal for Rehab Nexus? Where do you see uh, Rehab Nexus going with with treating uh, clients? The goal is to educate the individuals in order for them to develop healthy coping skills and coping strategies and improve themselves in a positive direction to utilize an evidence-based therapeutic model 
for example, providing the cutting edge groups, you know, that are focused on breaking free from the addictive behavioral pattern, move forward in a, in a direction that's going to be healthy and constructive. And, and, and all of this kind of leads into creating an empowering identity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you give us and a little probably, bit of what that means? Creating a an I you know, creating an empowering identity. What does that mean? And what does that look like for a client? Uh well basically the 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 patient would focus on getting motivated and, and their personal growth and their development and self improvement and focusing on these strategies to recover and instead of focusing on what they've done in the past. And this will help them develop that that sense of positive uh, affirmation for themselves and move in a direction that's going to uh, make them uh, realize the things they've done but not stay where they have been and uh, take the issues and move them in a direction that's going to influence them to make the proper changes in in their life. How how have you felt over the years? And I'm sure you know you've been doing this for 15 years. Um, it, it, you got to really feel passionate about this, um, and most importantly, in the end, to see somebody come out and be successful and live, you know, a drug free life. But most importantly, have the motivation to to make changes and create a family and create a life it must be really rewarding for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, my purpose as a lead therapist for Rehab Nexus is pretty much focused on the hope that I'm going to serve as an inspirational role model and that I'm going to help the patients uh, grow in, in their human developmental stages and in their personal growth so that they can not only be successful but in the end have that happiness that's built inside them without looking for external things to make them have that fulfillment and for them to feel happy in all the wrong places. So the idea is to focus as as an inspirational role model to uplift them and let them find their own inner core within. That is, it's so like refreshing because you know the standard uh, care um, is a little bit different than that. And um, you know, do you feel that like rehab nexus is kind of set aside in a different type of modality than normal treatment? Totally, totally. I, I think uh, rehab nexus is something very unique and. Uh, never seen it before and I like the way that Rehab Nexus has taken the approach to do things completely and uniquely different. I uh, have worked in the past in a lot of treatment facilities and I've never seen anything like this actually so I'm pretty stoked. And I'm so glad that uh, you were able to be a part of the show today. And, of course, you can contact Rehab Nexus by calling 954-800-0365. Again, that's 954-800-0365. You can also go to RehabNexus.com. And uh, the cool part about uh, people like yourself is that you give and you want to help folks. And uh, you've seen uh, the the great side of it, like we just talked about, in closing, I'd like you to take a couple of minutes, and, and if there's a family out there struggling, um, what, would, what would you say to that family that might be struggling with, with you know, a, a loved one? Okay. And uh, I just want to say thank you for welcoming us again. Um, I would like to say if, if there's a family out there struggling, pretty much I, I would have to say that be supportive do things that do not enable the behavior. Just work with the person, whether it be your child, your boyfriend, girlfriend, father, mother, sister that is in an addictive behavioral pattern. Be supportive in a way that will help the person make a change of letting go and taking responsibility for their own actions and choices. And do not blame yourself. 
just be supportive because it, it is a behavior and it can be changed. I, I, I also, you know, there's a lot of different controversies about whether it's it's a it's a um, disease or not a disease. We don't have that outlook here at Rehab Nexus, and I personally am behind Rehab Nexus on that. I I think that it is a behavior that can be changed. And yes, I do understand that the brain changes according to the addictive behaviors, you know, the patterns that are utilized, but you can change when you change your behaviors. As as a family member, I would suggest that you support the person but do not enable the behavior because it continue, the behavioral patterns will continue if if the family members do not support in a in a in a structural manner. Beautiful, beautiful message. Uh, again, I want to thank you for being on Rehab Nexus. Thank you. you can find you're welcome. Rehab Nexus can be found at rehabnexus.com. You can also go to their, uh, of course, by calling to, calling them at 954-800-0365. And you know, great people doing great stuff uh, up there in Coral Springs, serving South Florida, and uh, you know, of course, uh, uh, people come uh, to Rehab Nexus from other area so please if you have any questions and you're anywhere in the united states you know feel free to give a call uh and speak with uh, the folks at rehab nexus and uh look forward to having you guys back on uh in the future and uh, uh anything in closing that you would like to say uh well please and thank you and also um i am i am really delighted and i am very happy to serve the community, whether I am getting paid or unpaid. Good stuff. God bless you. I'm glad Thank that you, you were on you with too. us today. And we look and we look forward to having you back in the future. And uh, our love to Alan and Jordan and the rest of the folks at Rehab Nexus. Thank you so much. Thank you. And God bless. All right. Have Thank a blessed day. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Down and all the windows are fall. It's just another night spent fatally flawed. Time is creeping near and you're standing in the mirror. Who oh, you need to change? You're coming so clear. You got a bend and break to be saved.
Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.